Okay, and I'm going to take advantage as I'm climbing. Do you want to know the one thing that really would change the church? No, it's actually not a liturgical revolution, but something that gave us that in the first place. If you want to support this channel in any way, please do so through Buy Me a Coffee. So I know a lot of you love the Latin Mass and you want a liturgical revival in the church. Liturgical revival in the church. <clears throat> the problem is you don't understand why that's there in the first place. That's, that's the huge problem. You know what gave us that? What gave us that is a spiritual revival. So certain comments on the videos about purgatory People don't understand some of the things that I'm talking about. And this is a concept that they don't understand. That not only must we live a life of faith, not only must we live a moral life and a life with the sacraments, but we need to live a spiritual life. Now, the great spiritual teachers taught us that there are three stages in the spiritual life. The purgative way, the illuminative way, and the unitive way. What does that mean? Purgative is when you get rid of sins, both mortal and venial. The illuminative way is when you get rid of defects, when all the personal defects of your character, all your flaws, all your traits that are negative are purified completely. You become a perfect person psychologically, spiritually, emotionally, morally, on every degree. And the last is when you come into deep union with God and fruitfulness, spiritual fruitfulness. Now, that is not something that we can do. That is only something that God can do. It's a passive purgation, just as in purgatory, where you receive it. You don't do it yourself. You receive it. God does it to you. And we dispose ourselves in the first stages. In the first stages, we do it. We do some of the work. And St. Teresa of Avila talks about that as us bringing water to plants. But in the later stages, God makes the rain fall. That's the metaphor that she uses. Um, and these, these ways that God purifies us are mysterious and mystical. And that's what the church doesn't understand. And you know why they don't understand it or they don't like it or it's not popular? Because it's really difficult. It's easy to go and attend something. It's easy to go and act something out on the, on the exterior, these, uh, the liturgy. It's easy to go do that. It's really difficult in prayer to allow God to purify you and to allow God to purify you through sufferings. This is what we need to have purified if we want to skip purgatory. It's not just indulgences and praying for the souls in purgatory, but we must become perfect people and we must re- get to know our historical and spiritual roots. St. John of the Cross, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Catherine of Siena, all these great mystics that taught us uh, what it means to grow in the spiritual life. You need to understand that. If you are a subscriber of this channel, it's not enough that you pray for the souls in purgatory. You must be the type of person that is purgated, purged in this life so that you become a much more effective instrument in the hands of God such as what happened to Mother Teresa, probably what happened to St. John Paul II, St. John Bosco, St. Padre Pio, all these saints that you love, the reason why you love them is because God purged them, illuminated them, and united them to himself. These are the stages that every human person needs to go through, and if we don't go through it here, we go through it in a much more rigorous way in purgatory. So my friends, I hope you are enjoying this, as I like to call it, Purgatory and El Salvador series. So I'm going to give you a little tour. Right now we are on the southeast corner of El Salvador. You can see Nicaragua and Honduras from what you're about to see. Pardon the wind noise, it is absolutely amazing. So let's get to this unbelievable view that we're about to see. Check this out.
and all of El Salvador, this is by far one of the most spectacular views. It, it rivals any view anywhere, but especially here. So now I'm going to show you even some more beautiful things. There is my family, you can see them. That's my mom saying that to take advantage because this is something that you never see. It's really spectacular. head it's right here day that I forgot to bring bring the wind muff for this microphone we have the windiest day look at that beautiful view Now we're going to climb up here to get an even more beautiful view. There are my little girls. Can we go back to the tent? We will. I'm going to go climb up to the top. I'm going to go climb up to the top. I will see you in the next one.